Hey guys, and welcome into the garage, and a happy new year to all of you. Today, we're going to take a look at all the new kits for 2024 that have been announced up till this point here in January. And that also include any existing uh, tooling that has been modified with new parts, decals, or what have you to make it a new, never been before released kit. And as always, there's always going to be new kits that are announced throughout the year, so this is not the complete list, just what we know about so far. Let's get started. Starting things off with AMT and the next version of the Charger tooling, which will be the 2021 Dodge Charger Pursuit. So the second of the three variations planned for this tooling, and the third one, the next one, is going to be, I think, the most popular. So this will be for a CHP. So I have uh, CHP decals, a new hood, front and rear bumper, two wheel options, two light bar options, a push bar, radio console, laptop with mount, rear seat partition, and spotlights. Fun little fact of why they chose CHP was that was just the first agency that got back to them with a licensing agreement. The second wheel option and the second light bar option are those that uh, are used by Ohio State Patrol. So you get yourself some OSP decals, you can build yourself an OSP charger as well with this kit. Due out in Q1, so it'll either be February or March. Due out January this month, the 59 Cadillac Ambulance. So the new parts will be the gurney, the interior bits, the roof lights, and siren. Do out at some point in the future, the 1964 Chevelle Malibu SS hardtop. There's a test shot of it there. Do out this month, January, the Dodge Warlock stepside pickup. Been modified. Some, they redid some of the tooling and reworked the kit. So it kind of counts for this one. As well, the 71 Dodge Demon due out this month of January as well. That's going to do it for AMT MPC. Aoshima is up next, and first up, the LB Works Lamborghini Murcielago, due out this month, January. The Lamborghini Ventador LB Works version 2. This one is going to be due in March. In March as well, the Back to the Future DeLorean, the new tool, new tool, new tooling they did. And due out just sometime in 2024, the next set of kits. The Nismo R35, I'm looking forward to this one personally, excited. The GR86. The 180SX Type X96 and the 2000 Skyline 2000 GTR easy to build kit, as well as the Suzuki Jimny JB64, all due out sometime this year. Also, from uh, Ayoshima, quietly announced S13 Sylvia 91 Aero Custom. This is going to be out in February. That's going to do it for Ayoshima. Bell kits next. We're just still waiting on these Opals to be get released. Monte Carlo 1981 and Monte Carlo 1982. New New Platts, uh, New New Platts B-Max is up next. So we're BMW M4 GT3 2022 DTM Year of the Champion. Uh, this is supposed to be out in March, but that's a, not, a date not fixed, so don't hold your breath. Also the BMW M8 GTE Road Atlanta 2020 Class Winner. Do out in February. Again, not fixed, so don't hold your breath. The Porsche 911 RSR LM 2018 GTE Pro Class winner. This one is due out in March. Again, it's not fixed. So, And the McLaren MP4 2B85 Monaco GP winner. This one is set to be released this month of January. That's going to do it for new new Platts B-Max, and Ravel is up next, and we've got a lot of kids here to talk about. So we're not only getting one, we're getting two new Corvette Z C8 kits. We're getting the coupe and the convertible. I uh, know yet when they're, when these are going to be released, but we can see from the box out there, it says turning front wheels, 34, 34 plus piece engine, left and right hand drive option. So that's kind of interesting that they're including both 145 and 148 pieces respectively. These are going to be really popular. Also new from Ravel, got announced on the 1st of January, the Lamborghini Rivolto, Rivolto multi-port V12 engine, movable hood, detailed bodywork, and authentic interior. No word on the release date. Also new, the Fint 720 Vario, part of the Easy Click system of kits. I'm looking forward to this one myself. Very easy to build, good for beginners, multi-port engine, authentic cabin, large tires, Movable hood in addition to basic paint, glue, and brushes are also included. 
Also new from Revell, new tooling. Completely new shapes. The 1985 Chevy Blazer, part of the Stranger Things movie tying. Sort of a multi-part engine, uh, painting specifications, and comprehensive decals according to the of the production vehicle. Uh, the 71 Mach 1 Mustang, James Bond. A second Stranger Things tie-in, uh, Billy's 1979 Camaro Z28. So just a reissue there, but from Stranger Things. And new part, new tool parts, 57 Ford Del Rio Ranch Wagon. The Ford Broncos getting the half cab treatment. And long time to get reissued, or since last being uh, released, the 1977 Jeep CJ7. I thought, thought I'd throw it in there for that. Another long time to be reissued or issued, the wide size, the Ford Dually six-wheeler pickup truck kit. That's the snap type, basic snap type kit, but it's been a long time since it's been uh, in production. And the third Stranger Things tie-in, the Surfer Boy VW Pizza Van. Let's wrap it up for Ravel. Mobius is next, and they're going to start doing the Chevy trucks. The C10 Chevy truck coming soon for 2024. Don't hold your breath on that. It sounds like it's actually probably going to be closer to 2025 when this gets released. They have some other projects that are in front of it that got to get out first. So don't expect it this year. And one of the projects that's in front of that is the next version of the Ford truck tooling and is the tow truck due out sometime this year and i think after this is going to be the snowplow version so there we go that is a look at all the new kits for 2024 that have been announced so far i know there are a few that i'm excited for if there's any you are excited for let me know in the comments below and if you could hit that like button for me if you like this video so with that and as always thank you for watching